Hey friends, welcome in. How are we doing today? Mr. V, congrats on getting first and second first. I should make a second first thing. I should also make a fisting for those that want to claim fist. There's a lot of things I should do. I just, I don't think of them until I hit the live button and then I'm out of time. Uh, Slim Cali, it's great to see you, Sensei Havoc. I love that. <laughs> the Sensei Havoc with the Shadow Warrior Lil Wang emote. Perfect. It's amazing. Hey, you know, I'm I'm stressed today, but I feel I feel a bit relieved. So I had that appointment today with um you know the med the med experts um about getting my ADD under control and whatnot, and that was about you know 90 minutes. It was a long long appointment talking about medical history and uh, different meds and stuff. And I'm gonna start I'm gonna start an ADD med tomorrow uh, tomorrow morning. Um, so, we'll see what happens. They, they, it's like this, like, oh, but it might, it might, you know, it might cause four blood pressure problems, so you're gonna have to get on more blood pressure medicines, and the next thing you know, you're on four fucking meds. And it's like, come the fuck on, I just, can we just try this one thing? But, I hope it's what I need to. I need to focus, because I feel... I feel like that's getting worse, and my memory's getting worse, and I need I need control over that because it's making me struggle in other areas like happiness. Um, but so holistically, we're gonna start here and see what the you know the domino effect is, and see um, if getting my ADD under control and getting me to a place where I feel like I'm uh, doing good with you know the stuff that's in my control. Like focusing, getting work done, uh, finishing projects, remembering to do things on the stream, stuff like that. Uh, see if that improves my general happiness. <clears throat> um, and brings my frustration level down, because frustration's high. In general. Like, I do a good job of keeping that in check most of the time, but I also kind of feel like I could do something to just take away the frustration. Um, and this is something I'm trying. Uh, you guys get it. I know y'all get it. <clears throat> maybe not, maybe not to the extent of my own, my own, I get it, but. Let's see what happens. So hopefully, hopefully there aren't knock-on effects or weird, like, personality quirks that pop up. I'm sure y'all will tell me if I start being an asshole. <laughs> People real good about telling you you're being an asshole. Um, but yeah, we're gonna we're gonna try a couple things. We're gonna try this this first bed first and if that doesn't work or the side effects are too much We'll try another one. It's a stimulant. So it may help with um, um uh, What the, the my weight my weight issues that'd be nice. Let's see here. Actually. I don't mind sharing what it is. Hang on I'll tell you all what it is I just gotta pull it up cuz I can't remember up the top of my head Dex, Dex, Dexadrin, Dexadrin ER, Dexadrin ER. Never, I've never been on it before. It wasn't something I was on in elementary school, you know. <clears throat> so hopefully, hopefully there's that. That's kind of interesting, you know. When I was on the antidepressants, like those last an entire day, right? They're extended release or whatever. This one's also like an extended release, but I guess it'll wear off depending on how fast I metabolize it out. I hadn't really, you know, thought about that. Um, so there might be, like... Wouldn't that be the most annoying thing? Like, because my usual time for working on stuff, the time that's the worst, is at night. You know, that's the point where I'm like, hey, Sean. Uh, that's the point where I'm, like, staring at a monitor and not getting stuff done that I need to get done. So there might need to be, like, a supplement for the evening. And that just, that just feels weird. Like, when, when I say something like... I need to take a pill so that I can snap into focus. It kind of reminds me of like um, college kids abusing Adderall to focus to focus study. I don't know how how nasty that could get. Not something I did, but I, I dated a girl who uh, 
who like would save up her Adderall for a week and then just take it all right before a fucking test. Like, I don't know. Like, I, I, I know that's a totally reasonable thing is like take the pill when you need to need to focus on something. But just kind of seeing the way some people did that just kind of like set off a red flag in my head of like, oh, I don't know. Um, there's a lot of illicit use of that stuff in poker. Yeah. Yeah, I can see that. How you doing, Skep? Welcome in. Um, <clears throat> but yeah, like, I, I don't know. It'll be interesting to see how it, how it changes, um, my ability to get stuff done. Because it does get bad, you know, and like, I, I've always been one, like, if I'm gonna sit here and work, I will sit here and I will hang out in two streams, right? I have done that for two years. And for the vast majority of those two years, that's been great. But the last couple months since going off of the, the antidepressant, um, this is Cyborg Future. Uh, since going off the antidepressant, I have struggled to keep my focus. Whether I'm, whether there's a stream on or not. Um, I think it was keeping it in check a little bit, but I can't say it like 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 we're doing this whole thing because I could not stay on the antidepressant because it was causing me worse side effects. Um, so we're gonna try to go about it this way. Um, let's see what happens. That's kind of the long and short of it, but oh. I saw a picture of Chaz today. I'm not gonna share it on stream, although I want to. I want to. But y'all would not believe how beautiful this man is. Good lord, he's got the longest, like, wavy hair, and this beautiful beard. Ugh. Chaz needs to stream. Secret identity. I know. I know. Can't share it. I had to lure him out to my wedding to, to prove he was a real person. <laughs> oh, man. He needs to, he needs to get a webcam and he needs to stream. Yeah, I can't, I can't reveal it. That's up to Chaz. I, I gotta tell you, though, he's a handsome motherfucker. Like, y'all have no idea. I had no idea. It's been a long time since I've seen a picture of him. Um, I had no idea he grew his hair out. So I'm gonna I'm gonna spoil that for y'all. He's got he's got hair kinda like mine. Almost as curly. It's definitely wavy. <clears throat> the closest you're gonna get is my brother's face. Wait. Did you send? Was that? Wait, that wasn't. Was that was? That wasn't your brother, was it? That was a picture of you. Wait, did you fucking bamboozle me? That was not your brother. Wait. Or is that what you're gonna send, Sean? You did. Hold on. You did not send me your brother's face. I'm gonna feel like a total asshole if I thought that was you. And it's actually your brother. Havoc is sus right now. <laughs> Havoc is sus right now. No, 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 no. That's you. That you acknowledge that was you in our conversation. Yeah. He's just not responding to that line of questioning either. Typical fucking Chaz. <laughs> He's as regular as streamer as you. <laughs> Jazz's brother's cool too. I've bought I bought up. I bought computer hardware from him as shadily as possible. Let me tell you the story about um buying a hard drive from uh, Chaz's brother. Never met the guy before. I was just talking to him on Steam because apparently one day I, I, I friended everybody in Chaz's entire bloodline on Steam. <clears throat> it's C face adjacent to mine, and I was, I was talking about you know just building my wife's computer. And he's like, I got a couple extra hard drives, and I was like, Yeah, all right. Um, so here I am in the middle of, of Moorhead, Minnesota at this grocery store in like a back alley waiting for this guy to pull up. Uh, yeah, I already have stalker havoc. And, and, 
and he gets out of this car he's got a hood up over his head like he's just got this hoodie on and he's just got like this like bag and he walks up to me he's just like you got the money so i give him the money and then i take the bag and we get in our cars and we leave and like here i am you know 10 years later being like that was one of the shadiest deals i've ever made for an 80 gigabyte hard drive just like in a fucking back alley with like bags and bags of money <laughs> And that was, uh, that was one of two times I met Chaz's brother. <laughs> oh, man. That was funny. Someone was watching for the, is the drug deal going down? Shit, get the cop. Yeah, I know, exactly. No, it was. And, and you know what? It, the, the whole thing was, is like he came out with like this huge hoodie. And he had the hood up, right? I don't know if that's a thing he normally does. And I just assume it is now that he's always got a hoodie on. <laughs> then that's the part. That's the part that sent it over the edge. Into probably a drug deal. You, you got them gigabytes? You got them gigabytes? I'm I'm fiending for some gigabytes. <laughs> I've got the I've got the gigahertz need them gigabytes, man. Bruh, I need 80 Gs. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, man. You know what, though? That's by far the least shady thing I've ever had to do to get parts for something. It's just funny. I've been roped in some shitty situations helping friends out. Uh, <laughs> <clears throat> things that I look back on now and like, how could I have been so naive? Done to get parts. <sighs> that car parts, man. Car parts. Automotive techs. They they some shady people. That's almost enough to describe in plain. Uh, uh, text the magnanimity of Paul Lord Mall Cop. I should probably watch that. Maybe I'll watch that when my wife's in London. But she doesn't have to sit through it. Man, I got like a pinch something right here that ain't ain't jiving with me today. <clears throat> the shadiest thing I've done for parts. Oh man, there was there was this one guy that like made me drive all over Tarnation. How could you not be? It's like Stockholm Syndrome in here every time you come in the chat bump puzzle. You're gonna make us all watch Paul Bart Malka so that we can cast our judgments on you. <laughs> <clears throat> and like, it was like, oh, yeah, I've got this part, but I need a favor. And it's like, I need to go here and pay uh, my alimony child support, but now looking back on it. I think I drove somebody around so he could buy heroin um, And got a little bit of gas money and a car part. I was looking for from um, uh, another LT1 Yeah Yeah But I was like 1920 at the time And just being like yeah, I'll drive you around. I like to drive hmm all heart, tall top. <laughs> Bump Puzzle's kink is getting roasted. For enjoying. <laughs> From the celestial throne, sure. <laughs> uh, <clears throat> and there was a there was another guy that um when I was first getting into cars that I uh, I paid for some work done. And uh, then watched him put it all into his arm. That was something. That was a different guy. Yeah, there was, like, being a mechanic, there, it's just a different world. It's a different world. Um, and I didn't see most of it back then, because I was a kid, right? You're a kid till you're 25, basically. Polar Mall Cop is the next WoW expansion. Uh, 
I hope that he's blue with like antlers or something. <clears throat> um, so I, you know what? The game Liberated has been like floating on my schedule for a long time. It keeps getting like pushed off because like things would come up. I had to take a week off here. This game was supposed to be like played in January. Somehow it's been pushed until literally the day that I am liberated from Chaz's month of game picks. That was unintentional, but hilarious. Unintentional, but hilarious. <laughs> Somewhere in like what? Las Vegas, there's a seven seven mile tall Paul Blart. It's like Paul Bunyan. Are you gonna finish Hob? Yes. Um, my my plan for Hob is I'm gonna throw it on the Steam Deck when I get one back. Oh, he, I was playing games. I was playing games off stream with the Steam Deck. Um, and now I don't have it anymore. I'll get another one. Ah, from your June. I had fun this June. This was fun. Uh, this June, last June was Sean's games. Those were fun too. I'm looking forward to hopefully somebody actually wants to do November. <clears throat> um, I'm looking forward to see what that brings because it's different for me, right? Um, uh, we are going to... Can I get a discount? No, but... But... You can, you, you guys are allowed to work together if somebody wants to afford it and can't afford it. Yeah, I made it expensive for a reason. This is, this is, this is one of those commitment things. I want y'all to want it. <clears throat> um, some point gambling. Point gambling. Dr. CDCS does that. Is that, is, is it? I've never enabled it or messed with it. Isn't it illegal in some areas? Are, are there gonna be some viewers that can't partake in it? How does that work? Um, Chaz, do some research on that. Um, you know, I don't need an answer today, but yeah, we can, we can look at some point gambling. Maybe. I'm all right with checking that out, see what that is. But yeah, you're right, there is a thing. There is a thing for getting more points. Those points have no monetary value. Ah, uh, I don't think that's right. I think that there's there's a caveat to that, Chaz. I think that there is. <laughs> uh, we'll need to figure that out first. Maybe I'll talk to Dr. CDCS. See, Mr. V says it's blocked in the Netherlands. I knew there was somewhere that it wasn't it wasn't allowed. <clears throat> but I don't remember why. <clears throat> you can place a bet for, for zero points only. Okay. You're like, I know it's not like overall illegal on Twitch, but um, there is there are caveats to it in certain territories that watch Twitch. Um, so, okay. Let's, I'm gonna make the schedule. I'm gonna work on the schedule a little bit tonight. Maybe we'll work on the schedule for next month a little bit on stream uh, today. Uh, in other news, we talked about having a female protagonist only month for September. That's gonna happen. I'm really excited about that. Um, so that's, that's officially going to happen. Um, and I got zero issues if other streamers want to take part in that kind of like a a December without any bigger aspirations other than let's play games with female characters so if anybody else wants to take part in that let's fucking do it let's make it a thing there's probably a better more appropriate like women's day month something too that isn't september but whatever september is my theme month <clears throat> um i think it's just going to be a different theme every year um, yeah, I can't, I, I don't even, most of my life, I don't even remember my own birthday. I can't remember official days for things. 
May the Fourth is a is like a meme in my head, so I, I remember that one. But um, extra streams. So we finished up Dark Side Detectives last night. We got a couple more uh, levels done in Delta Force. After that, that was a lot of fun. Uh, there's a possibility I may swing in tonight and do a couple more Delta Force levels. We're really close to the end of that game. I just want to play all the missions, beat them. Um, and we've got like a couple levels left in the second to last campaign and a whole other campaign and we can be done with that. <clears throat> um, and so we're going to start Enclave. If I can start it next week, we'll do it. The catch like I talked about yesterday is that Tuesday my wife is leaving for, for London and it's just going to be me and the dog. Uh, and I don't want to kennel him all evening on Tuesday and Thursday. That doesn't feel right to me. So maybe later in the evening, like eight or nine o'clock till midnight, do some shorter extra streams and we get started on this guy. I don't know. It's going to depend on how early the dogs get me up every morning. I need to I need to think about that one some more. So there may not be extra streams until my wife gets back from London. Uh, that's a real possibility. Um, but extra streams enclave then lacuna and then i'd like to replay the alien breed trilogy i think i'm gonna do it on the hardest difficulty because i'd like that achievement and um uh, i'm talking with a with an exciting person about doing the co-op missions in that alongside that um something exciting y'all won't y'all won't suspect until it happens somebody i haven't done co-op stuff with before y'all will love it promise <clears throat> uh, and then and then at that point we should be into uh, you know female protagonist theme month and uh, we'll figure out what long play games we'll be doing what game was it the alien breed alien breed trilogy uh, I found somebody interested uh, pretty excited about it so that might be like a Friday night thing for that me and Chaz are going to continue to do our, our co-op on Sunday. Me and Dimension Dude and Bogle are going to continue to do Saturday mornings. And Path of Exile whenever Sean's available. Um, on Sunday, Sunday afternoons, evenings. <clears throat> I'd like to continue playing Path of Exile. I've been having fun with that. But we do have to figure out, I need to list out all my female protagonist games to figure out what games we're going to play in September. That's probably, that's going to be a more refined list than just the regular monthly, monthly schedule. Uh, pose a good video game? Yeah. Um, but I need to figure out what games we're going to full play. Because, like, we could do, like, No One Lives Forever, right? We could do that. I feel like a lot of people are playing No One Lives Forever right now. So, you know, there is Twitch burnout happens. So the people that would show up would be the people that really want to see me play um, No One Lives Forever. But <clears throat> we could also dig up something more obscure like Heavy Metal Fack and long play that, which is on my list to long play. You know, I've finished No One Lives Forever 1 and 2. I would love to play them on stream. No, we could definitely do that, but we're, like realistically in September, the most long play games we'd be able to get through in that month is like three, right? I pushed really hard to get through three or four of them in uh, um, uh, James Bond last year. Um... <clears throat> Yeah. Darkened Sky, actually, Darkened Sky is on the list. Um, that's another female protagonist game I'd like to get through. That that might make the final cut for for um, female protagonist September. Uh, that's the game about Skittles, if y'all remember, the one where Skittles are your magic power. That's an officially endorsed by Skittles fucking candy company game. Um, so that one's probably going to be a mainstay. 
I enjoyed what I played of that, even though even though it got a little bit grindy, I might drop it down to easy and see where that gets us. If it even had uh if it even had skill settings, but I'd like to get through that game. Um I think, is there anything else? Tomorrow morning, me and Dimension Dude should be completing Portal Co-op. Oh, we're gonna move on to Dead Island, believe it or not. Uh as our next as our next co-op game. We're just gonna keep the co-op train going, me and Dimension Dude. We're having fun. I think you all are too. Dead Island would be kind of fun. I played like half of that game a couple times. Uh, uh, but yeah. Uh, you guys want anything? Box of the day, headlines, new releases? Dead Island's a blast, yeah. Uh, otherwise, we can just dive into Liberated. That's kind of all I had to talk about. Gonna try to finish some 24 this weekend with my wife before she takes off. New releases. Fantastic. So, let's see what we can find. Ooh. Pop goes arcade. All right, hang on, hang on. This is wrong. This is wrong. I need to change this to past seven days. Yeah, last week. And then we're going to remake this bookmark, I think. Uh, give me just a second here. <clears throat> uh... <coughs> you guys see everything okay? I'm kind of covering up my preview, so. <clears throat> that should be right. I don't know nothing about Liberated, but I'm personally more curious about it than anything else. I gotcha, I gotcha. Liberated looks kind of cool. Um, let's see. Pop Goes Arcade. Oh, we'll check it out. So basically anything here with like a trend or whatever is uh, other people are taking notice of. We'll check this out too. What is Cold Age? All right, we'll look at it. <clears throat> Knocked him. Looks like another in a million horror games. We'll look anyways. Fire Squad? Me. Many Island Cos... Ooh. That's pretty. We'll take a peek. <clears throat> five Nights at Floppa Zero. What? What's Five Nights at Floppa Zero? I think I see Cyrillic. Uh... Okay. Ass. Party? Words. Okay. Dare to say? Dare to stay. Uh, I'll take a peek at that. Pandemic 1993. Oh. Actually, we're going to look at that. That looks kind of cool. Flashy it was, wasn't it? That one, I know which one you're talking about. <clears throat> Q middle. What? Um, no, thanks. Steam sale is objectively the wor worst time. Famished zombies decisive extermination. Okay. This, this is like the worst time to release a game right now. Like nobody's looking at new releases except for us. Rappels. Rapples. Dungeon Crawler. Creature Collect. Okay, we'll take a look. Chasing Halo Iron Storm. We'll take a peek. Oof. Gal Galaxity Bangkok VR. I am not having my cock banged in VR. <laughs> 
Fun fact. To your stations. No thanks. Planet S. Meh. Swift attack. Third person shooter. War game shooter. Um. Eh. <clears throat> The Accursed Crown of the Giant King. Okay. Mr. Triangle's Maze. Well, I am going to look at to you. Say, okay, I'll pull it up. I'll pull it up. I'll pull it up. Fine. Fine. If y'all see something I passed, do what Chaz did. <laughs> Make me do a thing. Peace Wars. P-I-E-C-E -E Wars. Okay. DOA game. How many DOA games are there? The threaten to leave the stream. <laughs> Fire truck simulator. Pass. Pizzle? Oh, Pixel? Hungry Galaxies, okay. Guacamojo. Flappy Butt. All right, hang on, hang on, hang on. We are going to look at Flappy Butt. We need one meme game. Left to Dating. What? It's a, it's a side-scroller? Whatever. Mr. Fox. Founder. Okay. Let's look at the top games from yesterday, too. <clears throat> so apparently a new F1 game came out. That's cool. Uh, Cuphead got a DLC. Outriders World Slayer. I feel like that came out not just yesterday. I'll, uh, we'll go look at this. I'm not gonna... Scum? The Danny Trejo... Wait, what? Scum has a Danny Trejo character pack. So this game, Scum, is from the Serious Sam devs. I've never played it. Uh, I know some people that did. It, it launched okay. Seemed like it might be cool, but nobody's talked about it for a million years. College Bound, episode four. Yeah, about that. It's blurred out. We're not going. Dismantled director's cut? I don't know why that's blurred out. Wandering in space. This VR? It is VR. Let's peek at that. Something not in English. The Galactic Junkers. Actually looks kind of cool. Zeo Survival. Ooh. We're going to look at that because it's pretty. What do we got? 30, it's 33 after? Yeah, we got time. All right. Mage Noir Infinity. Yeah, we looked at Scum. Yeah, because it was me, you, and I think Mike actually played it, but I just didn't want to spend the money on it. Paradise Cleaning, me and my doctor's life in the hospital. What? Okay. The Dark, one word. Thanks. The Dev, also one word. Cyber Sex. Sexual content, VR, first person dating sim. You know, I almost want to... We're not going to look at this on stream, but I'm probably going to go look at this one just because of the balls on the dev that decided their game, whatever game they made, whatever it entails, deserves to have this title. The word Cybersex. Like, what makes your game so great that you get to be the one game on Steam with that name? <laughs> look at the balls on that dev. <laughs> All right, here we go. This is Pop Goes Arcade, one word. Well, some of it, one word. Let's get some volume up in here. No. Are you guys here now? All right. What do we got? What do we got? Oh, it looks pretty good. Oh, it looks pretty good. Actually, it looks like it has, like, a cross-stitch filter on it. I really appreciate the reflection down here. That's cool.
Okay. I don't really feel anything for this. There's the demo if you guys want to try it. It's just, just, it's arcadey, I guess. Maybe. I don't know. What do y'all think? What's y'all's impression of this? <clears throat> I feel like they did a really good job on the presentation here, though. I mean, this is a very impressive presentation, right? Not going to knock them made up points for that. Very addictive game was a pleasure to help test. I suck at this game and you will too. Buy it anyways. I don't usually look at things. I'm just curious. Um, Five Nights at Betty. Okay. Great game. Weasel game is goaded. Buy this game. I saw an axe. I hope nobody uses it. Knock, knock. Who's there? Pop goes. Pop goes who? Pop goes the weasel. Fuck. Fuck that game. Fuck this tab. Fuck this tab. I'm in the attics. <laughs> retro for retro's sake, uh, but not the kind of retro I go for. Fair enough. The presentation looked good. I mean, it was all filters. All right. Dead Ho hope. Okay, sorry, done. <clears throat> uh, let's watch a video. Requiem for a music. Let's go. That's kind of cool looking. Leland Gaming. I like that name. Are we going to show some gameplay, or are we just going to show that you guys figured out how to put bones below lights? Whatever comes next... He was pushing too hard. Whatever comes next, I want you guys to remember, this has been in development for four years. Single player co-op online! No commas. Survive post-apocalypse. One word. <laughs> post-apocalypse. Needs a hyphen. Chaz was on that. Team up with other survivors. Start. This trailer is garbage. That trailer is trash. It showed us nothing. All right, let's get a good look here. Yeah, a little bit of like, maybe a little bit of like, uh, division, maybe? First person, right? Zombie mutant. Here's a church. Uh, fuel yard. That's it, five screenshots. How much do they want for this? LAN! LAN PvP and LAN co-op. Full controller support, Steam achievements. LAN. Not just LAN, but it has LAN. There's Leland Gaming. They haven't put out a game yet. Uh, yeah. Do we see a gameplay trailer? Sorry for the late reply. Last, last year, the decision was made to postpone until 2024. Unfortunately, I don't know why the Steam shop still has a release date of July 1. Aww. Is this thread locked? Why can't I post a comment? Am I logged out or something? Still TBA? Yeah. Oh well. Oh yeah, I am logged out. Okay. Cold age. Let's go. What do you got? The world went through an unparalleled collision. The cities and monuments have been reduced to ruins. What remains is hunger and hopelessness. An inferior continuation. And this guy who died race. break dancing the with a can of monster. Of are dispersed in this world, trying to survive this bleak and treacherous existence. Today, I'll tell you about one group of children, the protectors. They call me Black Jack. An old warrior who finds peace in his violence. Leadership is more about power than control. Adana, 
She cares about the well-being and survival of everyone. And I am Rick the Joker! <laughs> a soldier who never follows orders. Life is more important than death. Her name is Elm, skilled in medicine and alchemy. She can see the future. And the last, but not least, Sophronius. The ancient technology is the key to all the problems. Now it is time for you to continue the narrative. Help them find a way to the refinery, the protector's path to salvation. Their story is in your hands. Is that a rooster? What am I looking? What is that logo? I don't know why that looked like a rooster to me. Oh, it is! Rooster Landia! <laughs> that is actually a rooster! <laughs> I was like, oh my god, chat's gonna make so much fun of me for thinking that looked like a rooster. But yes, that is their logo. Their logo's a cock. There it is. Like, the more I looked at it, the more I was like, yeah, yeah, that's not a rooster, is it? But it is. Rooster Landy is the game dev. Interesting. What kind of game is this? Is this some kind of, like, management card story comic something? Cheat sheet? Hold tab for cheat sheet? Looks like there's maybe dice rolls. There's like stats here. I don't know what kind of game this is. It's kind of weird. Visual novel of some kind. Post-apocalyptic, hand-drawn, lore-rich horror. There's a demo if y'all want to try it. Successfully funded on Kickstarter. Okay. Wow. Hey, Grumpy Fairy. How you doing, friend? Yeah, it looks like what you said. Needs a gameplay trailer demo. Has demo! There you go. Maybe Chaz can tell us what it is. Because I'm not spending $14 on it. <clears throat> I don't think that this... I would get a lot out of this kind of gameplay, whatever this is, though. For me, personally. Uh, for those coming in, like Grumpy, we're checking out what's new, newly released on Steam uh, before we get into today's game, which is uh, Liberated. All right, here's uh, whatever this is. I find the courage to return here. Feels like Silent Hill. So many painful ooh, memories. Ooh, 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 ooh. Y'all see this person crawling down the hallway as, like, hands and a face right here? Oh, just casual nope. How about no? Hey, I'm doing fantastic, Grumpy. So many painful memories. Oh, that unnerved me. I marathon two stream. Did you like it? Yeah, we've got we've got we got more marathon coming uh, next Saturday. Not this Saturday, but next Saturday. Me and Bogle will continue on. Marathon two's great. I told him that everything was going to be all right. Two months later, he died. That's a cute logo. Now I'm looking for like other creepy faces. <clears throat> that really unnerved me. Noctum. Okay. I'm kind of whatever about it. I don't... So part of me likes games like this, and the other part is, like, I've played one or two of them, like Layers of Fear, so I don't have to play more of them. Because they're essentially all the same, right? Like, you just have to find a thing to unlock the next part, there's something you can't kill chasing you. Like... I don't know. It's not my favorite gameplay loop, and I've survived it once or twice. Not, not knocking on it. Might not be for me. Oh, wait a second. Chaz, we've seen, knocked him, hardly know him. 
We've seen this game, right? The one with the crazy amounts of reflections. Didn't we look at this on what's new on Steam a couple months ago? <laughs> Something very similar? Maybe Sean remembers it. Like, you can't even tell what's going on here. Is he actually shooting a gun? You don't recognize this. Okay. Mini Island. Two D platformer. Tell me one thing that isn't ground level anywhere. I will go through all the screenshots. Show me something that is an actual platform. Are we is Mini Island the platform above the water? What is platform? Two D platformer. I see no platforms. Demo. <laughs> no platforms. Your mom's a 2D platformer. <laughs> dude, dude, no, look, 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 look. We did. We did look at this game because there's a fucking million of them. I remember this. Uh, yeah, 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 yep. Yeah. Lies. Hey, mom. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> the timing on that was amazing. That was amazing. <clears throat> yeah, yeah. We, we have seen one of these games before. Okay. All right. I thought that seemed familiar. All right. What is this? Al Alchemia. Show me what you got. That's the second time that's happened today? Nice. I'm just gonna go ahead and stop you here and close the tab. So, bye. Next game. Endemic 1993! <laughs> <clears throat> God, these are some heavy filters, aren't they? I'm not turned off by it. I'm not turned off by it. Weird particles instead of blood, huh? No hit reaction on the zombies. They, uh, they, they make it out over there? <laughs> no, no fade out, nothing. So yeah, it looks like this thing is going to be completely plagued by those filters. Probably more filters than zombies. Five dollars. <laughs> it looks like this could be a fun student project, though. But it really it is kind of like super... Uh... It was a 2D platformer stream, too. That's funny. Um, it does seem like the zombies should stagger or something. You know what I mean? When they get hit by a bullet. Uh, what do we got here? Rapsal English language not supported. Uh, dungeon crawler doesn't. It's not marked as nudity. We'll give it a shot. Let's see what it is. It's like a huntless World of Warcraft. What's Soviet Dark Souls? Hmm. 
Is it? Mm. MMO, yeah. Classic medieval setting where monsters can be tamed. You're still... Even if you're not a summoner, you're still a summoner. Okay. Free PvP at every turn. Yeah, you think this is an old game, huh? Might be. Might be. I'm chasing Halo Ironstorm. Okay. A 19 second trailer. <laughs> There's another trailer. Look, I'm not gonna lie, those palm trees are impressive. Here's gameplay. World of Punk. It's decent to me. But does it re yeah, MMO online PvP. So it totally relies on other people to say the same thing that it looks decent and they want to play it too. Otherwise it's just a dead game. I feel like there should have been like more utilization of the tanks in Crisis 1. That's one of my favorite parts of that game, is getting in the tank and fighting tanks. They're great, great gaming memory there. Two stations. Alright, this one's for Chaz. Uh. Oh, this must be on like a starship or something. I'm seeing like red shirts and stuff. <laughs> oh, look on the side there. I think they're they're battling those ships. This is kind of cool. Putting torpedoes in. Oh. Can you put the cat out the torpedo tube? It's it just looks like busy work to me. All right, flappy butt. <clears throat> Are you ready to flap your way to victory? Introducing Flappy Butt. Play as a flying butt and try to dodge your way through static pipes and moving pipes, all while collecting rolls of toilet paper. Get to the top of the scoreboard by flapping longer than you've ever flapped before and try to beat others' top scores. Everyone's talking about it and even more people are playing it. Flappy Butt, the best game since marbles. Hey, 
Anyways. Looks like it's got controller support, yeah. Butt spot, yes. Perks up. Don't be a butthead. Sean's, Sean's paying attention to this game. This looks good. Champions of the Four Kingdoms, huh? Early access. 20 bucks on sale right now. Shared and split screen co op. Not online co op. Interesting. Remote play together enabled. Diablo of Dark Souls. Yeah, I thought I saw. This looks good. Wow, wow. Look at that. Look at that. This looks good. I think I'm really into this one, actually. Yeah, this is the RPG for sure. The dancing. That's pretty true. The perspective's so weird sometimes. Have you guys noticed that? <clears throat> it's almost like it was hand drawn um, by by somebody that lacked depth perception a little bit. I don't know why that is. Like some things just seem kind of off. And you know, controller support, like, that that actually excites me a lot here. See what I mean? Like, the perspective is so weird here. It's hard to make look right? Yeah. Orthographic. <laughs> you suspect it's not an ARPG, huh? What is it then? I saw, no, I saw in the other trailer, we saw HUD and stuff, hang on. In the other trailer, we saw HUD. I know we did, hang on. There it is, there it is, there it is, there it is. See, here's, here's health. Probably stamina. Here's all your potions. Here's your spells, right? This is ARPG, yeah? And here you got like a name, um, name and a health bar and armor or something, right? Is there something is there something else I'm missing, Sean? Not Diablo. It's not Diablo. The movement and perspective make it look closer to Boulder's Gate. Yeah, yeah, I agree with that. I agree with that. That's why I was super interested, because it didn't it didn't feel like the typical Diablo clone. But they also haven't shown like crazy deep conversation trees or inventory. What's this called? It is called. Well, it says RPG Adventure Indie Violent Isometric. This is called uh, whatever that says. There you go. Oh, let me give you a link. I'll get you a link. How's about that? Big nasty link with extra tracking information on it. Coming right up. <laughs> Mostly positive, huh? I'm going to leave this one open. This one seems kind of cool, honestly. No demo, though. I mean, I realize that it's early access, so technically it's a paid demo. Right? 
pro tip. Make sure you can't pronounce. I know, right? Hey, unlimited. Welcome in. Thank you so much for the raid. How y'all doing? Hey, Mac lad. Hey, retro. Uh, yeah, I'm paying attention to this. This actually looks kind of nice. Honestly. Hey, Art Goofy. All right, we got three more games. Then we're going to dive into today's game. Let's see. Uh, so this is a virtual reality called Wondering in Space. That's not good. Is that like Blood Groot? The last Eden of Mankind. You're working on more Stick of Truth. Nice. Still liking it? Or wait, you said you played it before and this is a replay. Show me the VR goodness. Let's go. <clears throat> yeah, I'm hearing that. Okay. Chainsaw on Mars where there's no trees. <laughs> Shooting a bow and arrow with space is more likely to launch you than the bow than the arrow. <laughs> okay. Does bow and arrow need gravity? Would it, oh man, now I really have to use my brain. Would Chaz Chaz Layer by layer breakthrough. Yeah, I don't know what that means either. Would would a would a bow shoot in space? No, it just needs air and the arrow to fly straight, it would be fine. Ah. Would a bow and arrow work in space? The answer is yeah, okay, okay. The bow's tension will propel it. All right. All right. No gravity needed. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. Galactic Junkers. MOE's log. I have taken to doing the log myself as the captain seems to not grasp how the software works. It has been so long since the destruction of Earth. How long I am not sure. There has been so much going on. There was the firefight, with the pirate ship. The time we boarded the Union ship. The fire. The time the aliens boarded our ship. The other fire. So much fire. The derelict. That time they hid from Union soldiers in a bed. The mining incident. Hiring some new crew and upgrading the ship. Another fire. And the time we lost some crew to an accidental opening of the airlock. I know. Come to think of it. I think that all took place yesterday. Despite that, I guess they are showing some promise. Especially when it comes to dispatching pirates. I just hope Mickey Pancakes is as forgiving of their works. If you do receive this message, the Galactic Junkers could really use some help. Okay. Uh, Zio, the last game here. Post apocalypse, something.
It's like a sneaking fad, yeah. Oof, this trailer is rough. Hire somebody on Fiverr who can render a video. That's, uh... That's, that's one of my big gripes sometimes. What kind of game is it? Oh, there's people in it. And zombies? Oof. This screenshot? This looks rough. This is some weird, like, ultra-wide resolution. Huh. Doesn't really feel like the trailer we just watched at all. One review. What do we got? Receive product for free. And it is such a good game, I really enjoy survival. Game is borkin'. If you want to play something that will be better than Rust, that will be better than Rust, oh boy. All right, let's dive into today's game. We're done here. <clears throat> just, just not dying, right? All right, let's check out Liberated. I think next time I will just stick to today's games. Adding some of the ones from yesterday made that a little bit longer than I wanted it to be. Actually, I'm going to run to the restroom really quick before we get started on today's game. And uh, you guys can do some shoutouts, and we're off. to himself as he thought of the irony that he had just saved the planet he once longed to conquer and pillage. Now his only desire was to protect the place that he now called home. How was that for... actually was lurking on upside down Matt the other night. I can't remember why. Somebody must have raided him. <clears throat> uh you, did you guys did you guys read about the one of the guys I can blank it on his name behind Monkey Island? Uh has been pretty much bullied off of social media by fans because they didn't like the art style of uh, the return to Monkey Island. Ron Gilbert, thank you. <clears throat> um, what the fuck? What the fuck? Cool. He said he won't be sharing, like, updates about the game anymore because he's lost, uh, lost the want uh, <laughs> to share with anybody. We just have the game when it comes out. 
if he hasn't been like run off of game development, but people were nasty. And what's interesting about it is like, yes, Monkey Island fans are a specific type of rabid uh, when it comes to when it comes to Monkey Island, like the same with King's Quest fans. It's kind of weird. But uh, the article I was reading made a very interesting point that every um, like the original Monkey Island was not pixel art because it was meant to be pixel art, right? It was pixel art because that was the technology and that every Monkey Island game has had a different art style. It's a cess, yeah. Uh, I agree with you. Um, so, so every Monkey Island has tried a new art style. Uh, so having this new, like, super artistic style, like, yeah, it jives. Makes sense. Cool. Good job. Like, they've all tried different things. They've all looked drastically different. <clears throat> One and two, I, I think, look a little bit similar, but... Claymation, like the Neverhood? Yeah, that... Well, we'll probably never get it considering the backlash over... Have you guys seen the new art for it? Uh, I'll let you look it up on your own. It's interesting. It wouldn't have been my first pick, but I don't have a problem with it, you know? Yeah, it's, it's different. It's different. But I'm not going to threaten anybody's life over it. Uh, but yeah, apparently they logged on to Ron Gilbert's personal website, went into the comment sections, and attacked him personally. Like, what the fuck? Yeah, exactly. That's kind of the same way with um, King's Quest and uh, Monkey Island. <clears throat> Um, damn it. Oh, well, that's gone now. Anyways, <clears throat> move the slider. Oh, where are we at with the mouse? <laughs> things, you remember yesterday, things were exploding out of my hand, too. I just sent this guy flying across the room. I'm gonna have to stop drinking caffeine for good. I can feel it now. Alright, here we go. Liberated. New game. Select issue. DLC. Settings. What do we got? Bubble size? Nice. What's game mode? Player reader. What does that mean? What does that mean? The gunpowder? Exactly. <laughs> Alright, new game. If you, Oh, if you prefer a challenge as well as a good story. If you prefer to focus on the story, challenge will be easier. Aim assist is turned on and deal more and take less. Okay, let's do player. Challenge and a good story. It means it's a visual novel? I don't think so. I think it's a first-person shooter now. I thought maybe it was a visual novel, but... It says aim. Maybe it's a side scroller and comic panels. I have no idea. I buy too many games to remember every single one. <laughs> this is one that slipped through the cracks. Or no, this one was free. Um, on GOG at one point. March 12th, 2024. That's like two years from now. Do I need to hit a button? Oh, it says A down at the bottom. Okay. <clears throat> uh huh. Security cameras. Mark Bishop. Philip Sutter. Is 
Susan Balion. There's some voice acting. I've done a lot of reading in the last bunch of streams. <clears throat> Use left stick to run. Objective: reach your train before it departs. That voice sounds really familiar, doesn't it? Is that that sounds like the voice from the nano suit in Crisis? What did it say? Press A to jump. Activated. Oh, no, 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 go back. Get in the door. Dude, Crisis is one of my absolute favorite games ever. We'll play that sometime. Maybe soon. Remember when 25 was so old to us? <laughs> He literally dies because he couldn't go left or right. You can't run past people who are armed. What, uh... Just trips. Flawless you save 58 50 percent on all treatments CSS Memorial services begin at 12 p.m. Trains will run every 10 minutes throughout Those in attendance will receive complimentary citizen credits for the foreign for our future Can we just talk about Well, we don't have to talk about it. I'm just gonna say it's bullshit social scores like whatever china's doing is kind of what we're seeing married here fucking <clears throat> complimentary citizen credits that is the darkest timeline this side of literal nuclear apocalypse We have credit score here. I'm not talking about credit score. I'm talking about like when you like rat out your neighborhood for having different religious beliefs and you get a, a like a, a higher score that allows you to do more in your country. Like, yeah, like doing the uh, uh, it just makes my skin crawl. <clears throat> And then having like, like a higher like citizen score that allows you to apply for better credit card loans or whatever, like, or ugh, the type of job you can have, like some, some Gattaca level shit. That is, we are, we are tumble, we are hurtling into that timeline right now. <laughs> 
and it makes me so uncomfortable. Yes, City 17 be coming, yeah. New message, good citizen. Alert! Your citizen credit system account has been flagged for social non-compliance. You have failed voice. to attend your scheduled citizenship training. An intervention warrant has been placed on your CCS ID. This game is gonna upset me. I can feel it. <laughs> because this doesn't feel like fiction anymore. There are countries that do this. Please return to your place of residence and await the authorities. Thank you for your cooperation. I God, I hope, Maclad. I hope. Shit. They'll be heading there now. I gotta scrap my computer. Objective. Reach your apartment before the police. Don't get caught. You can hide from the enemies in places marked with Y. Damage fades faster when you are hidden. I gotta, I gotta say that <laughs> delete the porn. Right? Like you live in a country like that, you have to look at like a certain amount of hetero porn to keep your, your score up. <laughs> oh no. The art style in this is top tier. I love, I love how this looks. Left bumper to sneak and make less noise, you move slowly. <clears throat> A silent kill. Okay, so there's there is combat. It keeps giving me these tutorials that I don't have to use anywhere. Is that a cop over there? Oh, it is. Fuck. Okay. Objective. Reach your apartment before the police. Don't get caught. <laughs> I'm sure killing police is good for your social score, right? Two wrongs. Two wrongs make a right. This is how Jack Bauer solves it. Right in the head. Objective. Reach your apartment before the police. Don't get caught. You coming back, Broski? City 17 combine squelches on those radios. Fuck. Cops. Cops and bold with a period. Look at the square cars. Objective. Encrypt your data. No, destroy the data. Never just leave it encrypted. Faster you bang on the keyboard. <clears throat> I think the cyber truck got canceled, didn't it? Down on 
on the ground. Now, maggot! Ooh! Seventy two hours later, that's three days. <laughs> Something to bring you back to the world of the living. Damn, did they like kill After my ass? All, that's why we're here. To help. To protect the fabric of society. But loose threads can quickly cause a tear, Mr. Edwards. Loose threads like jaywalking or riding the train without a ticket, say? Minor infractions. Victimless crimes, you may say. But crimes nonetheless. <sighs> and what about you? No posts on social media, no photos, no girlfriend or boyfriend, no friends at all. Does that seem normal to you, Mr. Edwards? <sighs> then there's all that cash you've squirreled away. Did no one tell you about contactless payment? Or does the data trail concern you? Strange, Mr. Edwards. Some might say you were trying to hide something. I keep to myself, that's all. I don't want any trouble. So, how about you save us all some time and tell us what the encrypted data is for? I thought protecting my client's data was a good thing. Listen here, punk. You don't realize how good you have it. The world out there was made by honest, hardworking people. The kind of people who follow rules, have barbecues, hey, hi, take photos, live happy, productive lives. This cop is getting out of breath. And then there's people like you. Troublemakers, malcontents, cancerous growths that metastasize and rot society from within. That's all I hear from him. <laughs> encrypted data is for the encrypted mama. <laughs> Today's going really good, Highbury. <laughs> Lucky for you, Mr. Edwards. We're releasing you, but you're on borrowed time. Make 10 Twitter posts to get yourself a score up, sir. Still Find a girlfriend that'll give you 10 points. And I'll make sure I personally get to bring you in. <laughs> Thanks, Chaz. <clears throat> Five points if you get a boyfriend. <laughs> Sometime later. Motherfuckers. Where the hell did they drop me? Oh, did he get taken for a starlight ride? Barry Edwards, get in now. You and me gotta talk. Is this Morpheus? Because I hope that's where we're going. <laughs> Run away. <laughs> Attaboy, we gotta get you out of town. I'll explain on the way. <laughs> that square car is flying. <clears throat> I just saved your ass, Barry Edwards. Or should I say, Duke Stroud? What? 
that was some cool shit you pulled ghost from your CCS ID. Aerodynamics be damned! Okay. This is about my old man, isn't it? Oh, for f or should I say Neo? Right? If you're looking for a ransom, forget it, man. The only person that old fuck cares about is himself. <laughs> I look like some chicken shit kidnapper to you. You really think you walked out of that police station on your own? A right angle makes a right angle. <laughs> Won't be long before they break that weak ass algorithm you use. Then you're gonna be public enemy number one. The hell did I do? It's not my fault my old man's a power hungry asshole. Man, you ain't getting it. There's bigger shit at play. Oh shit, am I gonna have to aim and shoot? It's not gonna be good for your social score. Not bad driving for a rookie. <clears throat> but maybe I should have expected more from the B-16 bandit. The telescope for Ahak. I just wanted to mess with some eggheads. Took some doing though, huh? Those ain't your run-of-the-mill security systems. Except you didn't cover your tracks. Now the cops are gonna be so far up your ass, you'll start oinking. <laughs> Lucky for you, rookie. Me and my associates are willing to take you under our wing. Wait, don't tell me you're with them. What was it, the Freedomers or some crap? The Liberated, and you're welcome. In case you ain't noticed, there's a camera on every corner and a tracker in every terminal. And a cracker in every ass! Oh, give me a break. Evil corporation, this tech enslavement, that. What's next? Chemtrails? <laughs> Go ahead, man. Laugh it up. Didn't see you laughing when the police busted to your place, though. <laughs> what was it for this time? Not smiling nice enough for the cameras? Not enough credit card purchases? Not wanting to be watched all the damn time? You got a decision to make, man. What kind of world do you want to live in? One where the system chooses who's free, or one where the free choose the system? Fuck, they sent seekers. Goddamn police drones. Keep your shit together. We got this, okay? <clears throat> There's a gun in the glove compartment. Cover me. Objective, destroy the drones. I, I, I got that, thanks. It, it, it ran away.
Am I supposed to go this way? No. Aiming, aiming is hard. Nicely done, rookie. We're here. Hit. <laughs> what is this place? to be a Project Manhattan facility. Don't worry, we put up the radioactive sign so no one comes snooping around. You can call it home, for now. Small talk later. Come meet the team. This is Rick, the bona fide will hunting. Just watch out for his ego. In a previous life, he helped create the CCS. <laughs> helped. I damn near built the thing single handed. Then the government went ahead and turned it into a dystopian nightmare. This is Tom, Reverend Tom. He was a teacher at St. Martha's when the bombing happened. Now he's with us. <sighs> I'm glad you're safe, young man. I wish it hadn't come to this. Oh, did he? Rick did? Oh, yeah, I see that. I see that. You already know his brother Tim, former special ops and the best driver we've got. It's funny because he asked me to drive for him so he could shoot. <laughs> James here is our mole in the police department and your guardian angel. He managed to buy you some time before you were ID'd. You're lucky to be alive, kid. All hell broke loose when they found out who you really are. Who I was. As far as I'm concerned, I'm not the son of that sadistic dirtbag who calls himself the Minister of National Security. No arguments here. We've all got things we'd rather leave in the past. Ah, almost forgot. I'm Meg. I run things around here. So this is it? You're the Liberator? <laughs> no. This is just one of many teams. Once we know you can be trusted, we'll meet the others. Welcome aboard, Barry. Time to earn your keep. Three weeks later. <clears throat> Briefing time, quickly. We're behind schedule. The other teams are already on the move. Can I make this auto? Doesn't look like it. I would like to auto dialogue. That would be all right with me, but I don't think we get that option. Our target is the Alpha 16 CCS data center located in the Silver River National Security Campus. Security should be minimal, mostly drones and robots, as well as a few guards and facility staff. We can enter the data center via the basement or the ground floor. Both give us access to the pumping station that provides water to the facility's central cooling system. 
The second floor contains the facility's electrical infrastructure and control room. Our target is the servers on the top floor. Keep it simple, ladies. We go in, plant the charges, and blow this thing straight to hell. We'll trigger an alarm 15 minutes before the explosion. That should give any civilians time to evacuate. No collateral damage. We're the good guys, remember? We're expected to sync up with the hits the other teams are carrying out. That's the only way to stop any backups from kicking in. That means no fuck-ups. Are we clear? Me, James, and Tim will enter the building via the front entrance. Tim has the security passes. Rick, keep the car within radio range and take the newbie with you. Maybe you'll learn something. Listen to Rick, people. He designed the security system. Follow his lead and this will all go smoothly. Barry, stay in the car and keep a lookout. No hero shit. So, how's life on the lamb? <laughs> Enjoying Rambo's Hey, training. why are you looking at me, right? <laughs> Everything's... It's a lot to unpack. I'm still processing. And Tim's not fucking around, though, is he? Better here than out there, though, right? Not like we've got much choice. Or hope of winning this war, either. Why aren't you fighting yet, then? <laughs> Maybe I'm a sucker for lost causes. Tim, Tom, even Meg. They believe in this idealistic bullshit. I'm not buying it. For me, it's about cold, hard facts. And the fact is, I created a monster. You know, the CCS was originally just a modified credit rating. Income, spending patterns, criminal records, you get the picture. But that's simple stuff. It doesn't tell you the full story of a person's behavior. It won't tell you if they're really a risk or not. That's why we made Themis, an algorithm that can track a person's entire digital life. All it was meant to do is say if someone's trustworthy or not. But then people like your dad wanted to use it to build a better world. And I believe them. I watched as they manipulated Themis to tip the scales a little, then a lot. It wasn't until the cops came for me that I realized what I'd done. This isn't our world anymore, Barry. And unless our glorious leaders grow some balls to take down Themis, there's no hope of us getting it back. Looks like someone finally ran a security update. One sec. Just gotta do the hacking thing. Just Damn, gotta do the guys. hacking thing. We need to do this the old fashioned way. <clears throat> You're up, Barry. I need you to get to the second floor and bypass the security system. Take a gun and hurry. I'll be in your ear the whole time. Wasn't actually expecting a guard. Okay, good, it goes away.
Oh Christ. Jaywalking leads to the downfall of society while the rebels credit rating becomes a tool of dystopian totality. <laughs> yeah. Danger. Why did we park so far away? I thought we were the getaway. Like, we have the entire game of, um, outside to go through. Or inside, I mean. hard. Try to get inside by sneaking behind the truck. Try to get inside by sneaking behind the truck. Try to get inside by sneaking behind the truck. How? How would I do that? How would I do that? Like... Like that? I'm not sure where I'm getting shot from here. Try to get inside by sneaking behind the truck. Like this? Oh, okay. Alright, Unlimited, thank you so much. Thank you so much for the raid. Uh, this game does look awesome. I will, thank you. <clears throat> thank you so much for the raid. Uh, yo, 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 okay. This is a very cool game. It's, it's, it's rough around the edges though. Uh, but, I, oh, yeah, yeah. but I'm definitely into it. Aye, 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 aye. <laughs> okay. You saw nothing. Nothing! When you walk forward, your gun weapons like sways really hard. <laughs> the bodies. Ooh, you don't take many bullets.
Wait, was I supposed to go down here? Okay, we can survive that, sure. No! God damn it. Is it? No. This is to jump into the meat grinder or something. That was kind of, that was kind of a cool puzzle. I liked that. I've never seen a puzzle like that before. It's refreshing to come across something new. for a bigger puzzle. What's for dinner tonight? Not pizza. We're not having pizza. Even though I want pizza. <laughs> well, too bad we're having pizza. everyone. Hey, the guy sneeze.
Oh, what it reminds you of? Uh, Dead State. No, hang on. Uh... <clears throat> I, can, I can guess at what you're thinking of. So the first one that's instantly going to be coming to mind is, is Limbo, right? Limbo, a little bit of Inside from the same, from Play Dead here, right? Here's, here's Inside. Uh, but the other one it's making me think of is called Dead something, hang on. Dead, Dead Light. Dead Light is the one it's making me think of. <clears throat> Um, this one is, is more of a zombie apocalypse, but you're, like, climbing things and whatnot. Inside pretty strongly. But this one's got, like, the twin stick shooting as well and some melee. Uh, and zombies chasing you, you're kind of parkouring over stuff a little bit. Um, other things that it probably is a little bit like is, uh, what was that game we played that had Troy Baker in it? That Epic Games did? <laughs> this is Sparta. Um, uh, the Complex. Complex? Shadow Complex, that's the one. That one screenshot. So this one's kind of like this one, too. This one's maybe a bit more 2.5D, but... I can't remember things have happened. But definitely, there's a lot of inside going on. Have y'all ever, like, who's completed inside? What the actual fuck is that game? Inside is really weird. I don't, I can't, I can't, you can't talk about the ending of Inside uh, without spoiling just how weird it gets. Which I won't do. Inside is, it really is something at the end. You shot me a little bit, bro. I think that that other game I showed you guys, the dead, dead whatever it was, uh, the one with zombies, that one also uses like comic book frames to transition between story elements, which is the other thing that has me thinking about it a bunch. Definitely play. Yeah, definitely play inside. I think Sean Beanlin uh, talked me into playing it. At least if they're shooting at you, they're not chasing the others. Charges set. Get out of there. It's gonna blow. Run. Did I just jump off a cliff? You still oh, okay. Alive? Good, man. There's an abandoned gas station about a mile east of you. I'll be waiting there. But inside also had a lot of swimming as well. Inside had a lot of swimming. Apparently, apparently there's also some meleeing. You still alive? Good, man. There's an abandoned gas station about a mile east of you. I'll be waiting there.
Hey, Purple it's going really good, buddy. You ever heard of this game? Liberated? I think this game was free on GOG at one point. I think is why I own it. It's, I like it. I like this a lot. Clunky, it's definitely clunky. Uh, but it's the total package, the presentation and all that, it's really cool. Also, the story made me feel things. Which, you know what? Like, stories that make you feel things in games should not be as few and far between as it is. But there's only, like, so many, like... Uh... There's only so many video game stories out there at this point. Uh, this one, this one I'm digging. Strikes a chord with my own paranoias. I wish the aiming was not as difficult. It just always seems to be just a little off. <clears throat> oh wait, you can reload anytime. Oh, okay. I see how that's working now. When are you streaming again, Purple? Are you streaming late tonight? Are you okay with that? Oh, nice purple lines. Good work. Good work. Some of you may be uncertain, but you do not want to 
Yes, the war, not even close. Most people will go on with their lives like nothing happened, back to taking selfies and posting pictures of their food. This will be nothing more than a blip to them. Sad to say, but we were never going to get through to those people. They can't even begin to imagine life outside the system. And even if somewhere down the line it comes back harsh. to bite them in the ass, so a harsh. bad word about their boss here, a complaint about a late train there, they'll still think it's all their fault. Is locked in some kind of mass Stockholm syndrome. What was this all for then? To reach the people who want to change. To show them that they aren't alone. To give. If we don't, every day we'll claim more lost souls. More people will succumb to the illusion, and their faith will die out. We must be the light at the end of the tunnel. Only then will we convince others to follow. <laughs> now, more than ever, I'm convinced the key is St. Martha's. That day, what scared me most wasn't losing the people I cared for. It was the lies, the harassment, the cover-up. Those children, may God watch over them, deserved better. Their parents deserved the truth, closure. They couldn't, wouldn't believe what they were being told. So they started digging. That was when people started to vanish, to move away to have their darkest secrets leaked onto the web for the vultures to pick through. You know, I remember a time when people could protest peacefully. Now we're forced to resort to violence and underhand tricks to demand answers. Sadly, there's no other way. Only revealing the truth will give the lie to the government's web of deceit. I pray that day comes sooner rather than later. Amen, Father. Guys, there's one more thing we have to do while the system's down. Tim, let's go. You too, Barry. I could use you out there. <clears throat> Sometime later. <clears throat> okay. 
a good old-fashioned curfew. The government's afraid of its own shadow without all its toys. Oh. Let's split up. It'll be easier to get past them. Meet me at the corner of Main and 11th. All right, uh, that's uh, that's it for me today. That's what I'm gonna call it. This game is really cool. This game is really cool. Select issue. Liberated. All right, so. So it looks like there's multiple comics here. And then some DLC. Seems like a decent amount of game here. To be honest. Cause we haven't we haven't gotten out of chapter one yet, it seems like. Right? Cause issue two's not unlocked. I figure we would that we would have like done the first chapter at this point. I wonder what else is coming. And it won't let me scroll, so I can't see how many there are. <clears throat> this game on Steam, we can look at its hub real quick. This is a $5 game on Steam right now. 75% off. Anybody's interested in that? Issue one. Looks like there's six issues. Pretty cool. Cool stuff. Okay, I'm gonna find somebody to raid. Yeah, yeah, and we'll do that thing. Small possibility I may come back way later tonight and do a couple missions in um, Delta Force, if that's your, th if you're interested in that, come join me. Um, not sure yet. My plan right now is to go get the kitchen cleaned up, figure out what's for dinner, and uh, finish season 7 of 24 with my wife and hang out with the dog. Tomorrow morning, there will definitely be Portal 2 co-op with Dimension Dude. We should be finishing that up tomorrow. That'll be at 10 a.m. Pacific time. Uh, at an unknown time on s Sunday night. There will be uh, co-op with Sean Beanland and Chester Mammoth working on some Path of Exile. Then probably some Sticks or Orcs Must Die too with Chaz after that. Not sure. Uh, probably Sticks. I don't know. Could be both. Who knows? And uh, if you're into some deathmatch multiplayer, I'm not sure what the game is going to be on Sunday morning. But in the in the Discord, exclamation mark Discord, if you're not in there. Uh, we're going to be doing some casual deathmatch in some game. We haven't decided yet. We've been doing that every Sunday morning for about two hours. Just playing a random game. Most of the time they're free games, but we might look at the Steam sale and see if there's something for like $2. Uh, you know, like like Toxic, the FPS game. Actually, hang on. What is that right now? Maybe we'll just, maybe we'll just make that if it's a couple bucks. Toxic. How much do you cost? I've always wanted to play this. Toxic is free. Hmm. Maybe I'll bring this one up to the group here. Brag like it's 1999. The uh, honestly a pretty cool looking game. Maybe we'll do this. Let's do this on. Hey fanboy Brian, absolutely. Thanks for being here. Maybe we'll do this on Sunday morning. Yeah, yeah. Let's do this. This will be good. I didn't realize it was free. Well, it's got prices down here too. That's strange. What is this? Upgrade to full game, which I own. So what's the full game? What does it do? Uh. -oh. It's not on sale. Weirdly. I don't know. We'll look at it. We'll look at it. Oh, okie dokie. All right. Let's see who we're raiding. Oh, 
but stay tuned to the Discord channel for Sunday Multiplayer. Stay in the loop with that. If you want to be part of that, uh, let me know. I'll give you a tag so I can at you. Ooh, Dreamy Magenta Sheep is working on Darksiders 3 right now. CQ <clears throat> Wisdom's doing a Metroid challenge. Let's go, uh, let's go give um, CQ Wisdom a raid here. Actually, wait, hold on. Is he on a BRB screen? I'll just go ahead and give him a raid anyways. He's on a BRB screen, um, but he'll be back soon, I'm sure. Love y'all. I will see you soon, I'm sure. There we go. There we go. Have fun with Seek. 